Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. Well, here we are. We're a couple of weeks away from Valentine's Day. So you know what that means. We need to start thinking about making jewelry that is Valentine's themed. So today we'll be opening up the curated bead box for the month of February. And I'm pretty sure it's going to contain Valentine's themed beads. Now, if you're not familiar with curated bead box, I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video, along with a link to the website and a coupon code in case you're interested. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and see what's in this month's box. And here we have the curated bead box for the month of February 2024. The name of this box is Pure Passion. And as you can see, it's definitely Valentine's themed. I'm seeing red beads, rose connectors, and a heart pendant. And I do want to point something out. Down here it says bead sizes and types may vary due to availability. And the reason I'm pointing it out is because you might get something different. It doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen from time to time, depending on the availability of the beads. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. Let me pull it out. Very, very pretty from what I can see. And I love this beautiful strand of glass pearls. Let me get organized and we'll go through each item. And here are all the strands. I really love this color combination. It's so pretty. I love the combination of the red, the silver, and the pink. And I'm very happy to see that a lot of these beads are kind of on the smaller side compared to other boxes. In fact, the largest beads are these right here. They're 10 millimeters in size, but all the other ones are smaller. There may be some other larger ones in the bags of loose beads. We'll take a look at those in just a few moments. But let's take a look at these. These are actually rose quartz gemstone beads. So that's really nice that they included gemstones this month. And like I said, they're 10 millimeters in size. These would make really great earrings. I love this gemstone and it's perfect for Valentine's or spring. Very, very nice. And by the way, the strand is between seven and eight inches long. Let's take a look at this next one. These are called silver drizzled glass beads and this is a 10 inch strand. And they're called drizzle because if you'll look closely, they do have a little bit of a drizzle effect. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've seen these before in previous boxes in different colors, and I really, really love them. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. I love this color, and I believe the metals this month are silver, so these are gonna go perfectly with those. And let's take a look at these. These are gemstone style glass beads. That's how they're listed, and there are two colors, deep red and gray. And these measure eight millimeters in size, and it's a 10 inch strand. And they do look like gemstones, don't they? They're so pretty. I really like these. I love that effect. Whenever I see this kind of effect, I get a lot of inspiration for some reason. I just love seeing different effects like that. But anyway, there are quite a few beads on this strand. Let's take a look at these now. These are six millimeters in size. And when I first opened the box, I thought these were glass pearls, but they're not. These actually have the same effect as the silver ones. They're called red drizzled glass beads, and this is a 10 inch strand. It's such a pretty red shade, isn't it? Look at that. And I'm not sure if you can see the drizzle effect. It's tone on tone, so it's a little difficult to see, but it's definitely there. I just love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at these now. These are disc glass beads, and the color is ruby luster. Very, very pretty. I love using disc beads. I like to use them either stacked or individually. They look nice in beaded components. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these. I love them. All of these beads are gorgeous. And by the way, this is a seven inch strand. Let's go ahead and look at the loose beads now. And here we have three different types of beads. And how interesting that they included some glass shell beads. I would never have expected that for Valentine's Day, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll work them in somehow. And here we have some more red beads in different sizes. And these ones over here are pretty big, but they're black onyx gemstones. So that's nice. I always appreciate when they include gemstones. Normally what I do with this size bead is that I use it as a focal. I usually make some kind of pendant with it. Let's take a look. They're pretty heavy because they measure 14 millimeters in size. And look at that. I'm not sure what that discoloration is. I wonder if that's common with our next beads. I've never seen it, but it certainly does make them look interesting. 
This one has a little bit of discoloration as well. Very, very cool. I like how glossy they are. And let's take a look at these red ones. These are all glass beads and they measure between eight and 10 millimeters. But I would say these little ones look like they're seven millimeters in size, maybe, I'm not sure. But it's nice to have all these different sizes. And there's one ounce worth of beads. I'm not sure how many that is, but you can see that it's quite a few. They almost look like ceramic beads. They're kind of on the irregular side. They're not perfectly round. Let's take a look at these. I'll put these on my rod so you can see how they're drilled. And here's six of them. I'm not sure how many there are total, but there's one ounce worth. These are listed as black seashell glass beads and they measure 10 millimeters across. But I think the 10 millimeters is this way, not that way. And they're pretty thick too, as you can see. They look like they might be six or seven millimeters thick. And I guess they would look okay with a Valentine's themed piece of jewelry. Cause from a distance, you really can't tell their shells. And if you live in a coastal city somewhere, you could definitely make some kind of Valentine's jewelry with shells. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I really like these. Something different. Let me get some more beads. And here we have a bead mix, some seed beads, and some pretty four millimeter size beads there. I really like that they included smaller beads this month. And of course I put the seed beads in this uh, tray because I didn't want to spill them all over my mat. Let's take a look at them. There are actually quite a few here. They're size 60 seed beads and the color is ruby. And there's about an ounce worth of beads here. They look like they're lined with red. They're clear, but they're lined with red. That's what it looks like. Very, very nice. I really like them. They're a bit irregular as well, so I'd probably not use these in intricate beadwork, but they look great on strands. Let me put some of these little ones on my rod. And here are just a few. Like I said before, they measure four millimeters in size, and these are called silver stardust brass beads, and there's a total of 50, so that's nice. And you can see why they're called stardust. They do look like they have a sparkly effect on the surface. Very, very pretty. I like these. Let's take a look at these. There's all kinds of shapes and sizes here. And here's some of them. It's not all of them. Obviously, there's a lot more there. But I think I loaded one of each kind. And I absolutely love these bead mixes. They definitely tap into my creativity. And I'm probably going to use all of these beads on one necklace. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. But that's my initial thought. These are very nice. Look at that. We've had these before in different colors. And this one is drilled at the top, as you can see. That's different. And here's another one like this one. Then we have this one that has silver on one side and red on the other. We have this faceted cube, a teardrop, another one that's top drilled. This black one here, this other red rondelle with some kind of plating on one side, very pretty. And another type of rondelle with silver on the sides. That's really nice too. And then we have another one that's top drilled and this matte one right here on the end. There's a lot of variety, that's for sure. I like that. Let me get some more items. Here are the last few items. Now, in addition to these, I still have to show you the Finding Starter Kit, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. As you can see, we have a pendant. We have some beautiful metal charms, some connector links, and some eyeglass holders. Now, I've never seen that in a bead collection, but how cool is that? You can definitely make your own eyeglass holder using beads of your choice. It's much better than going out and buying one, because then you have a choice of colors and everything. But let's take a look at this pendant. As you can see, it has a very intricate filigree design and it measures 34 millimeters. Very, very nice for Valentine's. I really like it. It's hollow inside, as you can see. Very pretty. And I love these beautiful charms. These say, made with love. I don't know if you guys can read that. And there's the back. It's nicely finished in the back. So if you're making a gift for somebody, how perfect would it be to attach one of these? I think it's a great idea. And I like that there's four. And I love these beautiful connectors or links. As you can see, it's a beautiful rose. And these measure 24 by 16 millimeters. 
There's the back. It's hollow in the back. I like that they have nice big loops. And there are a total of four. And let's take a look at these. I'll be honest, guys, I've never worked with these before. So this will be a first for me. But I've always wanted a holder for my glasses because I usually carry them around in my pocket. And that's not always the best thing. But anyway, there's a total of six. So that's really nice. Let me get the Finding Starter Kit now. And here we have the Finding Starter Kit. Now, if you're new to jewelry making, you're going to appreciate this kit because it comes with a lot of the essentials. It doesn't include everything, but it definitely has enough to get you started. Let me show you what it has. We have some beading wire, and I think that's seven strand beading wire, and it's probably 36 inches worth, I think. We have some ear wire hooks. There's a total of six, so that's enough for three pairs. We have some crimp beads. And they're the round crimp beads, they're not tubes. We have some stretch cord, and it's pretty thick stretch cord, which means it accommodates large beads. We have some lobster clasps, and there's a total of four. We have some jump rings, and they measure six millimeters in size, and they're very thick jump rings. I really like these. We have some flat head pins, and they're also very thick. I think they're about either 19 or 18 gauge. And we have some memory wire, and I think it's 60 millimeters in diameter, and I'm pretty sure the gauge is 0.6 millimeters. So anyways, you can see it comes with quite a few items to help you get started. I remember back when I first started doing jewelry, I wasn't sure about what I needed, but if you have a kit like this, it can be very helpful. So now I'd like to go ahead and arrange everything on my board so we can see how everything coordinates. Well, here's the entire collection, the Pure Passion collection for February, 2024. And I am super impressed with this month's beads. I love that there's so much variety. And of course, I love the theme. I've always been a big fan of Valentine's Day, not only because it's a special day, but it's also my birthday. And here's a fun fact. My mother wanted to call me Tina, short for Valentina. And I'm so glad she didn't call me Tina. Not that I don't like that name, but I'm glad she called me Louisa instead. But anyway, guys, like I said, I love this collection. I really do. I love the reds and the silvers and the blacks. And I love that there's so much variety, a lot of different sizes and shapes. And of course, if you add the Finding Starter Kit, it's a great value. I already have some ideas about what I'm going to make. So I want you to come back and check my channel for future tutorials coming up real soon. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.